day was like any other, or at least since Tree Gap. Kevin and I would travel till Four Fingers from sunset. Then we'd find somewhere to rest. We've become a bit pampered, I must say. We used to walk all day, sleeping out wherever we wanted. But then we got horses, then trains came. Nowadays, we drive most of the way and sleep in motels. We would always try to get back to traveling as soon as possible. When you've been moving for a few thousand years, it hurts to be still. We'd wake up, get dressed, and then it's back on the road. Not before Kevin watches the news, though. For someone who's immortal, Kevin sure loves the news. I don't get it. Life can get pretty boring when you're sitting still, let alone when you can never die. When we realized we were immortal, we decided we would spend as much time as it took to see every inch of the globe. So we started traveling, always by day so we could see everything clearly. Every river, every mountain, every square mile. It's hard to be bored when you're always seeing something new. We've seen just about everything by now, but we missed some spots here and there. We've actually been here before. Back around the late 1800s, I think? There's a castle, if you could call it that, that looks over a valley we've never seen. Last time we tried to get near it, the owner, Anson Stokes, shot at us. Yeah, Nearly hit Kevin, too. Not that he would have died, but bullets still hurt. It's not like we can't feel pain, we just can't die. We figured we'd come back in at least a century, once he was dead. Well, that was fucking stupid. We got to Anson's place, but instead of leaving and heading on like we always do, Kevin decided to stay. He said some shit like, We've been going from one place to another for the past 4,000 years. For the past few hundred, it's been kind of boring. Boring? How can it be boring? We've seen new places every day. I said, That's not enough for him. He said, From now on, I shall be known as Kevin the Wise. I'll sit here forever. People will come far and wide, get my advice. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. I tried to convince him. Come on, man. Still have fun? This has been my dream, and you should respect that. You knew this time was coming. I'm done. So that's it, huh? 4,000 years and it ends like this? Here, of all fucking places? Fine. Be that way. Have fun here by yourself. And he just stood there. Silent. Fuck Kevin the Wise. I swear, ever since we met that Jesus dude in Galilee, he's been obsessed with being a fucking mystic hermit leader or whatever the fuck. That he just wants the attention. What am I gonna do now? You didn't think about that, did you, Kevin? Not like there's a ton of immortal people floating around for me to hang out with. I guess we'll go back to the motel. We never go back to the same place. We also don't decide to sit on a rock forever. Who does he think he is? Does he really think people are gonna come and see him? What if he's right? What if he becomes the new Jesus? Everyone hangs on every fucking word he says for the rest of time while I rot here by myself. Alone. Forever.
approach thee, weary traveler, and gain wisdom from Kevin the Wise. Be not afraid. What is on your mind, child? I guess I'm annoyed that my only friend for the past few thousand years decided to bail on our journey to stand in front of a valley for the rest of time. Well, maybe that journey was over. That friend found a new journey that will make them better. No. The journey was not over. But now it is. That makes me scared. Scared of what? The future? I, I don't know. I guess I knew this day was coming, but I kept just shoving it into that back portion of my brain. I mean, I was gonna go sail the ocean, but what am I gonna do after? Start chipping away at space? I have infinity, but fuck, man. I feel like I've been here for so long and done so much, yet I still have all the time in the world. I can't stop thinking about moving forward. Last night, I just drove in circles in the fucking parking lot all night. I haven't even been sitting still for a day and I feel like I'm going crazy. The worst part is... You're right. It has been boring. For a while. And that's what scares me the most. That with all this time ahead of me, I've forgotten how to have fun. When I first got to this mountain, I was like you, traveler. Stranded in this world with nothing but time, cursed to spend an eternity trying to find ways to fill it. As time went on, slower and slower, taking away as the world turned again and again, over and over. I forgot why I came to the mountain in the first place. I forgot where I was, when I was, who I was. But at that moment, I felt something. I felt time slipping away. I couldn't feel it. It was just me, the valley, Experiencing, well, experience. Then it hit me. I can't forget how to have fun. Fun is forgetting. It's one of life's weird paradoxes. That was, that was actually pretty wise. You're not too bad at this. Thank you, kind traveler. Think you still want to stay here? Oh, absolutely fucking not. Let's leave immediately. <laughs> it was that bad? That was the single coldest night of my entire fucking life. And nothing fucking happened. Not a single fucking thing. Top that. I was just about 10,000 years ago. I had an educator from history. I had a company. I saw Peter Paul and Moses playing around. And that's the guy that's the biggest thing that Matt has ever done. Hey, I have an announcement. Farmer's mother would like to know if anyone wants any more food. Yes.